And now Courtney Garish exposes Dirty Dining. The first time we stopped by this place on the south side, it was rodents. Now it's roaches. Here's what the owner had to say about his health inspection. El Bucanero on Muskego and Burnham. We were there two years ago and never heard back from the owner. I'm here about your health inspection. Is there somebody that can talk to us? Well, the owner wasn't there, but this time Marcos Diaz called us back to talk about things like lettuce and cheese too warm. Diaz says they ordered a new cooler. One of the sinks in the restaurant didn't have any soap. And the inspector saw dead and live roaches. Diaz claims he does regular pest control, but it's an old building. When it comes to this restaurant's history, they've been fined for problems in four out of six inspections. Diaz claims they they are doing better at keeping things clean. Also dirty this week, Athens Family Restaurant on Lover's Lane in Silver Spring. We've been there twice before. This restaurant keeps having the same problems, food temperatures, mold on cutting boards, and no expiration dates on food. Keeping things clean, Boz's Sports Bar and Grill on South 70th, north of Greenfield Ave in West Allis. We look at health reports every week, but we want to hear from you when a restaurant doesn't look quite right. Tell us if there's a place you think needs checking out at TMJ4.com. Courtney Garish, today's TMJ4.